hi all welcome back to my channel PySpark pulse so in this video we'll be discussing about some of the excel ox interview question and not only in excel this question was ox to mean bosch as well so let us discuss this question like we like some of the basic question that was asked like you know some one of fun PySpark question using window rank function then how to do optimization in spark like uh, broadcast join then repartition collage cache you know, so all these types of uh, operation we do to optimize our code like using you know uh, like bucketing joins so all these things can, we can do then the third question was it was a very good question like how we implement a series to implementation in databricks and how we can do it using a uh, merge command right so it is as we know like merge command is very useful in databricks and uh, generally we use this right so what is the a series to so SCD2 is a solely changing dimension of type 2 which is uh, you know used to maintain the historical records and what is useful for it is used for maintaining the audit of our records now I have created two tables like first year target table so let me create this right so let me also you know uh, truncate the data because I might have ran this query and there might be some data right so let me uh, delete this if any data is there this would be deleted let me truncate the customer stage table as well right okay now we know there is no data and let me run this and let me create this table as well so you can see there is difference between these two create table statement like one here I have used using delta and here I have not used so this is you know, general doubt uh, in the student like how whether we should be using delta or not so if we are using Databricks and a newer version of Databricks so we can see right, if you do the describe extended of customer dim where I have you know uh, manually typed uh, as using delta so you can see the provider would be delta okay but what if we have not written it is the same thing because by default the manage table in the databricks would be a delta table so you can see it is a type of manage table and provider is delta and the location would be this hive warehouse so no need to worry much on that there would be a delta table only now let me you know uh, insert the values so these are some values the customer id the customer name customer email then customer state and customer uh, state code then pin code then the you know, from date effective date then this would be the let me check this would be end date yeah and the last one is is current okay or is active let me insert the records and this would be our records for the staging tables right so let me insert these two records as well so as you can see this is for c001 this would be an update scenario and this would be our insert scenarios okay so you can see this is a different type of merge command right generally what we can see in merge command when matched and when not matched right but uh, that would not be maintaining the historical records right so this is a little different in sql you might have seen this let me expand this table as well so let me fo uh, keep focus on this record only okay so you can see let me go through this statement so we are using merge into customer dim so this would be our target table using customer stage stage this would be our source table and on which condition customer id is equal to stage dot customer id okay and dim dot is current is equal to so only it will update the effective records active records only right when matched and if any of this condition satisfies as we have used or when customer name doesn't match when email doesn't match when city doesn't match when state doesn't match or zip doesn't match it means that if any of the value have changed for that customer ID we need to uh, mark that record as inactive that means our first record would be inactive and we need to insert the new record for that customer ID and insert the other record as well right so here what we are doing we are updating the end date and marking it as a current date that would be today's date and marking the uh, is current value as false it means the our record has been marked as inactive now here comes our main logic 
right insert the new record after update happens so what we are doing we are inserting into customer dimension table with all these columns right effective date and date is current everything is there but in a stage we don't have this so what we are doing we are manually writing this current date null and true so this three value we are inserting manually from customer stage right then we are doing left join customer dimension why we are doing left join because we only want those records which are you know uh, which are not present or which are marked as false right so we can see dim dot is current is equal to only join with the active records right it will not join with the inactive records what does this mean that it will insert the uh, the record which is after updated right after updated what i mean is the existing record has been marked as inactive and for the same id it will insert the updated record okay so you can see the condition left join customer dim as dim then on this is the condition then where uh, if any of this condition satisfied it's very similar to above right now let me exit the focus mode and just run this okay so ideally what should happen it should be having uh, one update records and two insert records okay so we will see okay this is actually a different query insert into that's why we can't see you know uh, the uh, updated one let me just uh, see here when we are doing select star okay so now you can see our merge into command helped us to you know uh, like mark the already existing records as inactive and put the end date and our insert query helped us to insert a new record with the same same uh, values and uh, the two other two records as well so this is how you know how my logic worked so i would be attaching this notebook as well into the uh, video you can check it from the video description and if you like this please share and uh, do subscribe to my channel and yeah thank you